famous psychics and astrologers, and they will reveal what lies ahead for all of us in the future. For instance, who will be the next prime minister? Who will be Madonna's next husband? Will Quebec leave Canada? Will Liz Taylor leave Larry? Will Arnold Schwarzenegger run for political office? Will Donald and Ivana get back together? Will there be a cure for AIDS? Will interest rates keep going down? Will housing prices go up? We'll find out today when we hear fascinating predictions for 1992 and the years to come. Well, let us meet our stellar cast of world-famous psychics and astrologers. Alan Wright is a psychic who says he uses vibrations he receives from the spirit world. Our next guest is the author of Star Power, an astrological guide to super success. And who should know more about success than the mother of superstar Sylvester Stallone? Meet Sly's mom, Jacqueline Stallone. Thank you. Thank you. I'd also like you to meet Anthony Carr. He is a psychic who is known for his dark and controversial predictions. Anthony? <laughs> and our next guest is Jojo Savard. She is the host of the popular daytime astrology show, Jocelyn's Horoscope. Jocelyn. <laughs> 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 Johnny yes. right exactly. now. Exactly. I want to talk about Madonna. Is she going to get married? Wild things. Two opportunities for marriage for Madonna. She has one of the most scandalous albums coming out ever. In fact, I see two threats on her life, so we'll have to watch that. And um, I think some sort of a special surgery or secret surgery will be, uh, you know, brought out next year too for her. I think she's getting married for sure be before the end of 1993. I think something's going on already that we don't know about. I don't think somebody that famous, I don't think somebody that is uh, well known. So she's keeping a great secret. And I think she's going to be on for a long, long time because she has that gift to renew herself. And she has that glamour and she's a Leo. She can help herself. And she has that uh, egocentric thing about herself, but also something to, to please herself in order to please others too. This is why she's going to be there maybe to give us a little hint that we could do something about our lives too, maybe to become glamorous too. Do you think she wants to have a baby? I think this is, she, she probably will have a few babies. I think she's very much the maternal family kind of spirit right now. You, you can really it. tell guess, from her shows. That's, that's oh, the spirit. maternity. <laughs> <laughs> is that the dope you have here? Who yeah, will be yeah. the next prime minister of this country? Will it be him? Is no that way. the one that's running now? Yeah. Absolutely no, not. No, no, no way. I did his horoscope. Yeah, he's a Pisces and he's on the way out. Okay. Boy, that made you all very happy. The next prime minister, or the one right after, will be a woman with short, dark hair. Comes from hilly country. Yes. And I predicted that before... What's her name? From some psychic. What's the name from Thunder Bay? <laughs> so you think it'll, our next prime minister will be a woman? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go along the list here. Go ahead. Okay, first of all, I feel Maroney's going to have to step down before November 93. And Joe Clark will become interim prime minister, and I believe what he's saying is true, where the next prime minister beyond that will be a woman of a different party, the liberal NDP, whatever, so say it that way. But exactly. there, is a, there is a feeling that a woman should be brought into place. I think a woman could run this country better than Maroney, and that's the way I feel it. That's All it. right. <laughs> Joe, Joe. Um, <laughs> for some reason, the way I calculated, I don't see a woman now. I see it no. the next step, okay? Uh, I know that Jean Chrétien is going to create all kinds of things. I, I, I feel there's something going, go, he's a Capricorn, and he's, there's something positive about him, maybe making some difference, but there's going to be some incredible surprises. And I don't think it's a woman. I, I, this is not my feeling. According so you to think me. it might be uh, Jean, Jean Chrétien? Jean Chrétien has a possibility. Maybe he will fool quite a bit of people at the last, uh, at the last oh, minute. Last minute. But okay. Malroni is definitely, he's been swimming this side, he's, he's going to have to gently, okay. diplomatically swim out. Unfortunately, right. 22nd, 1951 at 1231 a.m. in Toronto. Right now I'm going through a real transition period and it seems like it's forever. I feel like I'm hitting a brick wall. What's the key to opening that up? Um, 
Jojo? I'm thinking, I'm just calculating his thing. Just a minute. She's 51, she's a cat. And what is your first, the, the, the day again? May 22nd. Okay, your 22nd. Well, 22nd, first of all, you're, ex you're, you're extreme. You can never go in the middle of you. It's there or here, okay? This is something with karma in your lifetime. You know, you have to wait until the end of the year. Uh, you want to know my, my, my personal opinion? Right now, I would go backward. I would meditate about everything. I would cut everything with the past completely. And by January, you will see if actually February, because February, there's a big conjunct the conjunction of the planet will hit. And in your case, I think the lights will come in at that time. Right now, spoil yourself, take care of yourself. And at uh, mid-February, approximately around the 20th, this, all the, the, the things that you have to do will come in nicely. But for sure, the transition that you're in going right now is for the best. I am telling you, it will liberate you. Close the door to the past. Shoot for the future. After February 93, you will see it will come naturally. Okay, okay thank you. The question is, is uh, I'm going to start with you because you are from Quebec. And do you think that uh, Quebec will leave this country? No way. I think there's going to be a lot of negotiation. We are in monkey year right now. We're in vibration uh, tree right now. That's communication. Of course, there's going to be a lot of debates. People will go to the extremes and until they realize what they have to lose. And I think at the end of November, November is a key month here. We will be quite surprised because you see planet Jupiter, planet of good fortune, is entering the sign of Libra, of relationship. And that means negotiation. It means people are capable of speaking. And maybe before to go into ultimate, they will find some peaceful solution where everybody's going to be happy. That's what I see for Canada. I see Canada really uh, get a staying together in the long. It's going to take two, two, three years. Go ahead. I do. I was wondering if you could predict your own future, and if so, does it scare you? Well, that's why I don't oh, like hearing myself. I <laughs> love, me. I I love it. I work, I work on me all the time, and I love yeah. it. I think Same it helps here. my life. If I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have astrology, I don't think I would survive. I, this is what makes me aware of who I am. It makes me love me, and it makes me love other people. It makes also uh, com more compassion towards other people. I understand people. Don't that's judge right. people. It's, right. it's a love story, astrology. Um, Career-wise, what do you see for my future? I don't know. What sign are you? Scorpio. Okay, what is your, your date of birth? November 11th. Okay, oh, 11 already, that's good because when you're born the 11th, it's always protection somehow. Okay, what year? Do you mind giving me the year? 55. 55, you're a goat? That means, oh la la, you didn't like last year at all, eh? <laughs> what did you say? She, she's a goat in Chinese horoscope. <laughs> oh, she's a goat. In 1991 was the, the, the year of the goat, so she had a, a return. It means all her life changed. She emotionally went all kind of incredible, but especially in your emotions, your sentimental life and things like that. But you know what? Go in your career right now until the autumn. Forget about the past emotionally. You went through a lot of emotional stuff. Eh? You, went, you touched your soul almost. You can't believe it. Is it true? Is that true? It's true. Okay, don't worry about it. What you've okay. learned about yourself, you're, you're terrific. And you know, at autumn, around your birthday, around the 11th of November, career-wise, this is where you should put your energy for at least the next six, six up seven years, because this is where you're going to get the satisfaction emotion that you're searching. How can you know that just from looking at it? Because that. I do charts all day long. Okay, yeah. next young lady. Thank you. Okay, this young lady. Go ahead. <laughs> Typical mother, right? All right. Do you do predictions for Sly? Yeah. All right, tell me some of the things that's going to happen to him in 1990. Not much, really. You mean romantically? Yeah, everything. Same old crap as last year. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing new, really. Wouldn't you agree that we the do. moon and Libra people usually, one of the things that they want the most in the world is the good looks of their partner. And it's like an obsession. But I think the little conjunction of Uranus and Neptune is going to do it, something with him, with Jupiter and uh, Libra, is going to make him wiser. And I think that the relationship, I agree with you, I looked at the chart, that it will break because yeah. of somebody else coming in. And I have a feeling that probably it's going to be somebody that has a more inner beauty than outer beauty. I was hoping the princess died. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wouldn't count on it too much. But uh, you know, I, I, I will tell you from the bottom of my yeah. heart, your son, in the next seven years, starting June, July 1993, will be more peaceful, more in love, more happy, oh, happy with himself, uh, oh, Sylvester, goodness. that you could ever dreamed of. You will have tears of roses coming out. You will not believe the I peace within. Okay? But this is it. the bridge of his inner peace, where he finally realizes the value of inner peace, inner beauty, which you, you reach now because he has suffered somehow, because he has been disillusioned. But the Neptune which and Capricorn. What's the last person you asked for that was important? Uh, Robert uh, Redford. Robert Redford, he's going to make a big, big. He's a Leo and he's making no a big way. boom. You will no see. Way. You will see. <laughs> he is making no good. He's, he's doing it behind the, the scenes. He's got the worst year of his life 
right ahead of him, and he's going to have to either work with someone he hates their guts, or he's going to be tired. He doesn't want no, it. No, he has to work hard, I agree, but I think he is going behind the scene, and he likes it, he will be directing more, but there's a whole new discovery if of being a leader. leader. You know that like 1993, it. for sure, there's new elections in November, for sure, for sure, for sure, and I think that Monsieur Jean Chrétien will win by minority, but definitely will win. Well, and and now I think, and uh, Monsieur <laughs> Melroni, unfortunately, will have to maybe take more time it, to respond. Now, Jackie, you don't, you don't have a man in your life right now. I just threw him out last <laughs> month. One, <laughs> so I don't. Three so is Jackie going to find true love in 1993? She's, she changed so much since I saw her last, I'm telling you. But you know what? It's, yeah. uh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. The last time Jackie was yes, on the show, yes, what's remember? changed about her? She last is week. more, I don't know, she bloomed. Bloom. Something happened to I'm you. Three million dollars poor about no. blooming. I got you? ripped off by two men. You know how, how blooming can you look? You know what you're ready for? <laughs> you are ready for an ultimate, you incredible passion. I, I, I'm telling, and you don't like the spiritual. Don't but you're going to get, no. You know I, what? You will like hear, I she will be in love a lot. I'm, I'm telling you about a week. <laughs> will you leave me no. alone? You know what? And she deserves it. She deserves it because she is basically a lover. But she's not a half-time lover. It's all the way. Yes, and but I it's think many times all the way. It's no, a no, no. Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius don't just have one arrow. They have two, they have three, they have four arrows. She Anyone wants, they can hit, she wants they consider one now. the target. She wants one, Jackie, and it's going to come naturally. Yeah, like, Sometimes it's like that. There's nothing you can do. This, you know how we prove ourselves in time anyway? No, but you know, they had an audience today that want bottom line yeah. answers, and they're giving spiritual answers, and they don't want a spiritual answer. The girl who's in love who wants to find a love. Yeah, right. For a transcript of today's